Hi, and welcome to another episode of Raja Talking Live. Today, I thought I'll hop on quickly and talk to you about some of the strategies that I have used now that some of these videos have been released on YouTube. So today I'll be talking about two strategies. The first one was the use of the Cure and the second one was the Shanghai bracelet or the Shanghai stone. So for the Cure, the reason I used it is because one of my very close friends, she said that it helped her tremendously, particularly with her neck pain. So I thought, okay, you know, since I am a trained acupuncturist and I understood the strategy or the principle behind the cure, I thought, okay, I'm not going to lose anything since nothing else was working, so I'm going to try it. And I purchased the cure. The range for the cure, again, it's not something cheap, but it's not that expensive as well. If it works, it's a huge investment. If it doesn't work, you didn't lose a lot. So the prices are going from 100 to 200 or 250 Canadian dollars. So I bought that bracelet and as you saw in the videos, in the beginning, it seemed to be helping. But then after some time, it stopped working and helping me with the tinnitus. Now, the principle of the cure, the way it works, it works with the principle, it's ionized and it has two terminals that sit on acupuncture points. So from that perspective, it claims that it helps balances the energy, give you more energy and uh, having uh, the most claim that it had is the relieving of pain. Even though I did not have the pain, but I thought, okay, maybe if it balances the energy in the body, then that is going to help uh, relieve the tinnitus. And that was not the case. But if you notice in any of the strategies that I'm releasing and I'm posting on YouTube, what happens in my case is that in the beginning, maybe for a couple of days to a couple of weeks, depending on what I'm trying, the tinnitus gets better, but then my brain gets used to the, the, the chatter that happens in it. And then again, I don't get the relief from it. So if you want to try it, you can try that. And hopefully if, if, it, if it doesn't help with the tinnitus or anything else, it may help you with the pain if you are dealing with pain in your joints or anywhere in the body. The second uh, strategy that I used as well, uh, after adding the cure, I bought a bracelet, the Shanghai bracelet. And this stone is known to help with uh, blocking the electromagnetic frequency, the radio frequency that comes out from like the 5G towers or the environment around you. And for that, because I was suspecting that having the 5G towers in front of my building around the same time when the tinnitus started, I thought, okay, I can try that. I even made my own EMF uh, simple devices to help deal with that frequency that's coming at me. And however, the Shanghai maybe again helped in the first uh, couple of days after that it didn't work but as you can see i'm still wearing it uh, i love it and it has other properties the this stone has other properties such as protection and grounding so if nothing else i can get that protection as well so the shanghai i keep wearing it the cure believe it or not that metal ball that's at the end of it, it just broke. It was a clean cut. I woke up one day and the ball was gone. If I still have the bracelet, I'm gonna post some pictures for you so you can see what I'm talking about. So that's it. Those are the two strategies I wanna comment on. So if you know anyone that is suffering with tinnitus and is looking for different solutions or something new that they haven't tried in the past, then please share those videos with them. I have a whole series, the whole month of April, 2023 is focused on tinnitus and awareness uh, to spread it around. So. 
people can find solutions for what they're looking uh, and dealing with. So thank you so much. I will see you in the next video. Until then, be blessed, be kind to each other and uh, enjoy the beautiful spring weather that's coming at us. Uh, it's still not the case in Quebec where I'm now living, but the rest of Canada, I think, is having a better weather. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.